Um, we are here with Texas quarterback Sam Ellinger. There seems to be concern about how to say your name. How do you say your name? Please say it. Sam Ellinger. Right, everyone's go Ellinger. What was the deal? I, I don't know. I guess, well, on our coaching staff, Coach Maringer, it's Maringer, but it's spelled the exact same way, but mine's Ellinger, so there's a lot of confusion. Honestly, personally, I don't really care. Either, <laughs> either or works. I like Ger because it's like Ger, right? So <laughs> I mean, fair like, enough. Okay. I, you can kind of pick whichever one. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, now that we got that entire <laughs> problem solved, <laughs> just checking. Uh, let's walk through the, the problems that you're trying to solve on the field or the things that you want to grow in this season as you go into the 2019 season. Yeah, absolutely. I think there's a ton of things. Um, every aspect I'm really focused on continuing to improve. Um, my biggest thing would probably be accuracy, just standing in the pocket and trusting the fact that I, that I can sit in the pocket and let my receivers go get it. So um, continuing that, also just with a younger offense, a younger group of guys, continuing to show them the way of what it takes to win. So how do you stay healthy this season? What is your prehab you're doing? Because you love the contact. I feel like you love the contact. Is that fair? <laughs> I would say uh, when the whistle blows and I get in between the white lines, it's like the competitiveness comes out of me and it, I just let, let, let go, I guess. Okay, so what are you doing <laughs> to get your body right preseason? Yeah, a ton of, ton of treatment, a ton of massages, cryotherapy, um, every day stretching out my legs, trying to, trying to stay on top of it, staying ahead of the curve. So coming into fall camp, now that we've, we're going every day, um, my body feels great. You talked about staying in the pocket and letting your guys go get it. We walked off with some of those guys, and it's like six, 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 seven. We've got Malcolm, we've got Colin, you've got Speedsters. Um, talk us through your wide receiver core, what you like about them, and the chemistry that you guys have been developing in camp. Yeah, it's been great. Um, obviously, having Colin come back is huge. Just what we did last year, just throwing the ball up. It's really hard for guys to cover a guy who's six, six and has great ball skills and runs great routes. Um, but. Uh, Devin Duvernay, he played outside last year. He's going to play a little bit of inside for us this year. And I'm really excited for that because, I mean, he's consistently running 22 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. And so the that speed. That was his GPS is saying? Stop. Yeah. 22 miles 22 per hour. 22 miles an hour consistently. Like, if he's not above 21, that means he, he's having he, a bad day. He's, he, didn't, he didn't hit his top speed. So how do you adjust your route, like, for you to know that his timing and his miles per hour, like, that's good for you? No, that's great. That's great. And um, you want to be able to throw to fast receivers because he's going to be lined up against safeties and guys that aren't really used to covering fast guys like that. So it's going to be really good. But just putting a little bit extra on it and having to get the ball out fast, if I wait too long, he's going to be 40 yards down the field before I even throw it. Now, there's a reason why we're standing in the middle of a room full of Texas tradition. This is not, you know, spontaneous. <laughs> this was planned. This was planned because we want you to talk about your earliest memories of Texas. You, you know, being a hometown guy and loving the Longhorns for life. Like, what do you remember first? How old were you and what's the memory? First memory would be when I was seven years old. Okay. And I remember it was a school night. I was up past my bedtime and I was in my living room with my whole family. And we watched Vince run into the end zone in the national championship game, and everyone was going crazy. So that was my first, like, distinct memory. Mm -hmm. So there's a picture that we use literally on every broadcast. I think every broadcast that's ever been done in a game you've played in <laughs> uses that childhood photo of you with the Longhorns, okay? Does, oh, oh, I'm so Always wrong. The I love you, too. Okay. We all love Sorry. you. <laughs> <laughs> Does that annoy you, or do you like that that's the picture that's kind of signifying who you are? I, I think it's great. Um, I, I take pride in that I was raised a Longhorn because it's such a great university and the, the culture and history behind it is awesome. And um, yeah, I love it. Do we have any other pictures? Because I feel like we could update <laughs> I am pictures. sure. Can we work on that? Yes, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I'm sure my mom has a ton of photos. Okay, we're yeah. going to get some new ones. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, we're also standing in front of uh, Colt McCoy's jersey, which is interesting. But I would love to hear the relationship that you've developed with him over time and just what being around him has done for you in your career. Yeah, obviously, um, he was an incredible quarterback here at UT. And he's done some incredible things in college football himself. So to be able to ask him questions whenever I, whenever I can is an awesome relationship that I've created with him. He's such a great guy on and off the field, a great dude to model, model kind of being the quarterback at Texas because there's a, there's a lot of eyes and there's a lot of, a lot of ways to do it, and he, he did it extremely well. Best so, thing he's ever told you? Best thing he's ever told me? Um, just focus on the things that you can control. You know, there's a lot of distraction. There's a lot of things that can um, take you away from playing to the best of your ability, but just control what you can control and you'll be okay. We were with Justin Herbert 
to start this trip in Oregon, in Eugene, his hometown, I feel like because it's your hometown, your school from childhood, how much more investment and pride do you have in making this special? A lot. I, 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 it's hard to compare it because I, I don't know what it's like to go to another school, you know, um, but it's, it's, a, it's something in my heart. It's a school that I grew up, grew up loving and grew up watching win championships, so it, I take a lot of pride in the fact that Texas should be winning and Texas will be winning. Anything else in here you want to show us? Anything else we need to walk by before we head out? I don't know. There's, I mean, there's a ton of cool trophies, all Americans. There's, a, there's uh, people all over the place. I would like to clear up one last thing, and yeah. then we'll let him go. Okay. So at the end of the Sugar Bowl, we're on the podium, mm -hmm. and I did not ask you any question related to this, but do you remember what you said on the podium? I do remember. What was it? Um, uh, we're back. And as we stepped off the podium and walked down the stairs, do you remember what Tom Herman said to you? No, I don't. You he said, have to remind me. you had to say it. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Yeah. He said, you had to say it. You had That's to say right. it. That's so right. I just wanted the record to reflect that that wasn't my fault. No, That's no. how you felt, right? No, that was, that was, it, it was nothing, all you. Yeah, it was, it was, it was me and in the moment, mm -hmm. and I was excited and decided to, decided to do it. Own it. Yeah. Watch him practice. I mm -hmm. feel like you might be right. Yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.